Thank you so much, 553. Now, we hear our John Wilson is at the Fun to Noodle Open House in the South End. So, Wilson, what is this place all about? I gotta be honest, Terrence, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even 6 o'clock in the morning. I haven't had a cup of coffee yet, and we're here. I think it's about kid stuff. No, I'm, I'm kind of messing. I know exactly what's going on, and that's why we're here. What I do want to figure out, though, is how I can get the music that plays during sports to play during my segments, because that is some... Uh, and they're going to be rock and rolling here. Listen, here's the deal. April is here. It's fun to noodle, right? That's right. Fun to noodle. And what, what is this all about? I mean, I know it's like kid stuff and everything, but this is kind of a new thing. And Carolina Pad, you guys are, you know, Charlotte-based here and all this kind of stuff. What's going to happen here today? Uh, we are introducing our new education readiness line, Fun to Noodle. Uh -huh. it's a, we're starting with a handwriting development program. So today, all day long, we can have parents come in with their kids or teachers, preschool teachers, elementary school teachers, try out the product, get their hands on it, yeah. meet the occupational therapists who help us create it, and yeah. just have a good time. See, and that's a cool thing that I think is different with this, because because I know, you know, we're in, I'm out in schools a lot and everything, and to have like an actual like like occupational therapist kind of mm -hmm. working with you guys on this, uh, it makes it pretty cool. It's also kind of different from other things parents may have experienced before. Yes, very much so. It's a kit-based format, yeah. so you can buy a kit and work your way through the skills that your child needs to learn how to hold a pencil, yeah. and then learn how to write um, and get ready to to learn their uppercase and lowercase letters and writing numbers. Well, I think I'm going to be put to the test here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see. I know on the drive-in it was a little foggy out there. Let's see how her occupational therapy is going with a little forecast <laughs> on the fours. You know what? It is foggy. We've got some rainfall to talk about, too. But will the rain be lasting through the week? It has people up in arms. But first, our John Wilson is focused on education this morning. He's talking about the new brand, Funda Noodle. Funda Noodle! Look, I'm making letters right here. I got an A for Anna, a T for Terrence, a little T for Tara, because, you know, she messed up the weather today. We'll tell you more about Funda Noodle, the really cool stuff, and how you can come and check it all out. That's coming up on Wilson's World in just a few. Oh. It's time to check in with John Wilson, who's out and about this morning talking education. And he's at a place with a really interesting title, Funda Noodle. The Funda Noodle! Good morning, T. Wilson. Fun to noodle! I just like saying it. And, and you and your kids, you may like doing it. That's that kind of what they're thinking over here. We're over here in South End this morning. And uh, we've been joined. They're going to have an open house a little bit later on. We'll tell you all about that, how you can come check it out. Uh, we are joined now by two occupational therapists. Go ahead and start making your, your letters. Harry, right on cue there. Listen, here's what's going on. Uh, 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 Michelle and, and Amy are here with us. And occupational therapists, what, what do you do? With children, occupation, well, occupation with anyone is how you spend your time. Right. So for a grown-up, you go to work and do this every day. Right. For children, children's occupations are school, uh -huh. play, and self-care. Right. So we work with children to make them successful in all of those areas. Uh, okay, so working with kids and everything, you guys kind of teamed up with the team over here, Carolina Pad and Funda Noodle, and, and what is this we're looking at right here? This is our uppercase magnet sticks. Mm -hmm. I can build uppercase letters. We have our magnetic board that you can build all of the uppercase letters on. And with it, we have gross motor cards where mm -hmm. you can act out and get your wiggles out. Act out motions. Oh, see, that's one of the that's one of the tricks with kids. You got to get to have that's them. That's yeah, right. Crazy with it. So once they get their wiggles out, yeah. they can sit down and then practice a number on the back or letters on the back. And you were telling me, and we're going to get into this a little bit more more later on. We're going to have some parents and some kids come by. What's so special about this paper? This is something new. What's so special about this? Well, I've been an OT for 16 years, mm -hmm. and every day in my practice, I would have to create my own paper. Mm -hmm. I would get out my markers and make my own paper. And parents would see that the children's handwriting improved, and they would say, where can I get this? Right. And so Amy and I struggled with that. We went to Carolina Pad, and they've created a beautiful um, handwriting program with us. Yeah. Um, the key is the progression of the letters. We start with easy letters with right. vertical strokes and then progress to difficult uh, strokes like diagonals. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then Max the Monkey here makes it fun using action words like zip, zoom, buzz, and hop. Ah. And then the paper is, um, we I have... I like that. Yeah. yeah. Like that worked out. I tell you, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna find out more about this, tell you how you guys can come by and check it out over here in South End. What, what do you do with the cards again? What do those do? What do those get out? They are gross motor cards, so they get the wiggles out. And then it practices handwriting on the other side. They get the wiggles out. Back to you in the studio. You guys get the wiggles out. <laughs> okay. He, he said get the wiggles out. <laughs> you yeah. got to shake them out. 
I thought he He's was like, talking about the butterflies so. in my stomach. <laughs> the rough economy has kept shopping at bay. TV and iPod and tons of other cool stuff with just the click of a mouse. How to enter our Terra Nova home entertainment contest. Plus, John Wilson is out live this morning in the South End talking about some new developments in education. Good morning to you, Mr. Wilson. Hey, good morning, Terrence and Anna. Listen, here's what's going on. I'm with an, an actual occupational therapist right now learning some of this cool fun to noodle stuff on how it can help you and the kids. We'll tell you about that coming up on Wilson's World in just a little bit. I got my hands full right here. Right there? Right there? Okay, occupational therapist. Fifty-two on a Thursday morning. He's Terrence Bates. I'm Anna Coyman. This is Fox News Rising. John Wilson out about the South End this morning. That's right. He's hanging out at a place that's teaching your kids how to do all kinds of cool stuff. It's got a great name, Funda Noodle. Love it. Funda Noodle. I kind of want to go Funda Noodle. Whoa, Nelly. All right, listen, guys. Uh, we're over here in South End, and this is pretty cool. Uh, Carolina Pad. You may know that we've had him on the show a couple times. They actually, like, they supply all the cool, like, notebooks and stuff for Glee. This is kind of a, a cool thing for, like, the younger kids right here. Leanne is here with us. You're a therapist, right? Yep. And this is kind of cool because they teamed up with a bunch of therapists and everything about what they do and, and this kind of stuff. And this is something that, that you kind of use. What, what, what do you do? How do you work with kids? I work in a clinic and in the school system with them. And so we, basically, the kids think we're playing, but we're working on their fine motor skills and that sort of thing. I, I like that. And so something like this, like, how would you use something like this? Well, we are working on their coordination and their strength and stuff. So they, just like you were doing earlier, right, you're right. hammering into the, right. into the dots there. And, and so this is something where the kids think they're having, we're tricking them into learning almost, right? You got it. I like that little hammer right here, something like this. Now, you were telling me a story just a little while ago where, you know, and, and this is one of the cool fun to noodle things here. Before you had something like this to work with, you kind of had to make your own, right? That's right. I had to use a, a styrofoam block, and yeah. it was covered up, and then we were using golf tees and oh. just a plastic hammer from one of the plastic tool kits. But see, what now, that, but that, 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 that's kind of cool and everything, but it's neat to have something like this. So so with motor skills and all this, I mean, how important is it, you know, for some of the kids to, to really get some of these skills and to have fun while they're learning? Well, it's definitely necessary to have all of these skills, otherwise you wouldn't be able to write yeah. or do any of the necessary things to survive through school yeah. and pass you know, kindergarten. And, it, and you know, it's interesting because, you know, some kids have, you know, more challenges than other kids and all that. We, we've all got stuff and everything, but this is something that can really kind of help and, and make sure the kids are, you know, advancing in school as best they can. Right. Cool. Exactly. Now, listen, they're going to have an open house over here south end. We're going to have it all linked up for you on our web channel, foxcharlotte.com. Uh, I got uh, some of the, the, those details up on my Twitter, at Wilson Show, this morning. Uh, 9 o'clock, all right? Just going to get going here. We'll tell you all that. Bring the kids by. You can come by, try it out. Really, really cool. We may have some kids stopping by here in just a little bit. Hopefully, though, they're not going to have any issues getting here because Tara Blake has ruined the drive-in with this terrible weather this morning. Thank you, Tara Blake, forecast of the force. Of course, I'm just kidding. You're welcome. You know, I wouldn't have said this, but you were showing a little bit of your chest there with a lower button a little bit earlier, and I see that it's buttoned up now. So since you decided to be mean to me, it focuses on the four things that keep your car moving, your tires. Plus, more from Wilson out in the South End. Good morning to you, my friend. But I'm not talking in the Hey! Good morning, everybody. Wilson's World right here. If they stop yelling in my ear, I can hear you there, Terrence. Thank you. Hey, listen, we're going to go interactive right here with Funda Noodle. That's coming up here in just a little bit. And I just posted a picture up on Twitter at Wilson Show that Tara Blake is really going to like. We're getting interactive with you coming up on Wilson's World in just a few. Connected to Friday. You go, girl. <laughs> Shaking with John Wilson this morning. He's hanging out and about this morning. He always has fun stuff, but today he's also got a fun place where he's heading, where he, where he is, at least in terms of a name of it. Good morning, Thunder Noodle. You know, it's always, you guys talking about Friday. I, I should have come here on Friday. Friday, fun to noodle. That would be kind of cool here. Yeah, guys, I, I love this kind of stuff. And, you know, we're always out in the schools and stuff, doing stuff with the kids. I love it when you're almost tricking kids into learning, where they're having a good time and learning and all that. they got an open house right here. We're over in South End uh, this morning. Fun to noodle is kind of a new, cool product where it gets really interactive with the kids and really kind of makes it fun for them to learn. And uh, Melissa is here with us with, uh, with Carolina Patton. Fun to noodle right here. One of the things talking about kind of reaching out, 
out and everything is you guys are doing a lot uh, reaching out to families and stuff online and really getting socially interactive. Tell me about that. Right. We have a website. We have a Twitter account. We have a Facebook page. We also have a YouTube channel we are, where we're communicating with parents, teachers. Um, we want to hear reviews, how people are using the product. Yeah, and it's kind of cool where you guys can actually like write at home and everything. Uh, you, you can link up with this and maybe get some ideas. Mm -hmm. Maybe come and check this out and, and see what it's all about. You got some of the pictures up from this morning. That's pretty cool. Right. But also what I like as well, and 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 you know, uh, the, the, my family's really into this. Where the, you know, there's all these mommy boards and people talking to one another. Really kind of get some ideas of what works for some kids and maybe work for your kids and parents kind of hooking up. It's a really cool thing. Right. Exactly. And you know, that way they can get together and talk about how they're um, teaching their children. Well, the kids don't even know that they're learning. Uh, see, I love that. And that's why this is such a cool thing. Now, who are these two characters right here? Okay, this is Max the Monkey right. and this is Alfie. And Alfie. they're the two characters for Fun to Noodle. And we're going to learn more about them coming up here in just a little bit here. So if people want to connect with you guys, I've got it linked up on my Twitter uh, feed right now. At Wilson Show, you can get right there. We're kind of going back and forth. Mm -hmm. um, also, you guys are on uh, on Facebook, you said, right? Yes, Facebook.com backslash Fun to Noodle Learning. And our YouTube channel is youtube.com, Fun to Noodle Learning. You, all kinds of good stuff in there. So you can really kind of later on see what's going on. What I really want you to do is you really want to get interactive. You need to come by here today, right? Yes. We're here from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., 9 to 11, 2 to 4, and 7 to 9. Yeah, really Bring cool stuff. Bring the kids. Stuff. Bring the kids. And I think we may have some kids here before we get off the air. That's going to be really cool. It's Fun to Noodle, everybody, making it fun to learn. Very cool stuff here. Again, all those details are going to be up on our web channel at foxcharlotte.com. That's Wilson's World. Back to you guys in the studio. All right, Wilson, thank you so much 20 minutes after the hour now Paula Abdul used to just give her two cents about contestants on American Idol but White may have actually been on to something coming up find out what new research says about men with deeper voices oh yeah <laughs> plus we're checking back in with John Wilson who's testing his knowledge at the Funda Noodle open house in the south end good morning Hey guys, this is really, really cool stuff. Fun to noodle, really making it fun for the kids to learn. They got an open house later. We'll tell you all about that. And we're going to talk to a mom about how this stuff helps her kids learn. That's coming up on Wilson's World in just a few. <laughs> all right, 749 is the time now. And John Wilson out and about in the South and really getting uh, some hands-on learning. That's right. He's got some kids with him this morning. Where are you hanging out there, Wilson? We are hanging out this morning over in uh, South End, South End of Charlotte. Good morning, everybody. Uh, and, and over here with our, our fun to noodle people, uh, we're gonna, I got the address and everything linked up on, on Twitter, also going to be up on our, our, our page at uh, foxcharlotte.com, our web channel right there. They got an open house starting at 9 o'clock this morning, but we had some kids kind of sneaking a little early over here. We got Carson and Kevin right here, and lo and behold, Carol is here, and and Carol, you're you're a mom. Kevin, right here with you and everything. Look at this kind of thing. Fun to noodle if you just tune in is really kind of getting interactive and 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 you know kind of addressing some concerns that some parents have with with learning and making learning fun and everything. Uh, this is something that's really going to help you out, right? This is great because one of the things Kevin is very physical, but he doesn't you know use his small motor skills as yeah. much, and um, this is one of the things that he's learning and you can see that he's very interested in these activities. It is neat because so. they teamed up with some therapists, some, some uh, uh, occupational therapists about different things, and those motor skills are really important. We don't really think about it. I mean, when you and I were growing up, we didn't have any of this kind of stuff. They like, hey, go do it. But now this is really neat, and it's making it fun to learn. It is, and it's important because if they don't develop these skills, they it, it affects them not just in writing but in, in their math. The people won't, teachers won't be able to read the numbers mm -hmm, they write. Mm -hmm, so. Mm -hmm. They, they need to they need these muscles and you've you've had a lot of experience here you're you're a mom of four you're telling me and you've worked with a lot of kids and everything and you've seen a lot of challenges and it, when you when you when you can't do things it gets really frustrating for for adults and even more so for kids that's true my husband and I have fostered 10 kids in addition to the four that we have wow. raised and we often see children come to us that you know, have not learned their skills are unde undeveloped. And yeah. it's not that they're not smart, but they just need to have activities like this. They haven't been exposed to it. And this kind of thing makes all the difference. No, that, that, that is so cool. And I know that Anna does a lot with waiting child and everything. So it's just that is, I didn't know that's awesome with, with being a, a foster parent right there. Really, really cool. So with kids and challenges and all that, something like this, you're, you're into it. Listen, you moms and dads out there, uh, grandpas and grandmas, get the kids over here and check it out because this is one of those things. I mean, Carol's right here, a mom, and, and she's checking it out right here, and he's had to have fun. But I love this, though, because, I mean, I almost don't want to say it too loud because we're kind of having so much fun. We're almost tricking them into learning. You are. I haven't seen him sit like this 
in a, in a long time. Oh, you know, man. this long to be this interested in. Sure. Yeah, this is good stuff. We got it all linked up on our web channel, foxcharlotte.com. Open house starting at 9. Carson's having a good time right there. Hey, that's Wilson's World. Back to you guys in the studio. Good stuff, Wilson. Thank you so much. 7.52 now. Sure, opening doors and buying flowers are great ways to get the girl right. But guys, if <laughs> meteorologist Tara Blake, Taryn Spates, and I'm in appointment. Our Derek James is off this morning. We'll try to put a smile on your face and warm you from the inside out this morning. John Wilson out and about with a few heartwarming stories as well as you're trying to get kids to learn in a hands-on manner. Good morning. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Wilson's World, we are here. It's fun to noodle. They got an open house in like a, less than an hour from right now. Uh, we're over here in South End. Carson's using these really cool safety scissors, and we're doing some little exercises here with our motor skills, and we're learning. Kevin's over here. He's got his safety scissors as well. Really cool stuff, and this is really interactive and teaching the skills, motor skills, teaching the kids motor skills about, you know, how to do our letters and everything, and I'm having fun with the big crayons. Hey, I'm a big kid. What are you going to do? We're going to tell you more about this and how you guys can come and check this out. Are you, what? Are you laughing at my picture? What are you, come on, I just took, I, what? This is a, I just wanted to do a scribble circle. Scrabble. It's not scribble scrabble. Well, listen, I'm going to get these kids in line here. Back to you guys. This is not scribble uh, scrabble. This is, is art. She. Tell her. Tell them, tell them, little girl. I love it. <laughs> Folks, we're going to keep you company for the next hour or so here on Fox News Rising. Diamond's a cutie. I might have to get her myself. All right, folks, let's check in with John Wilson, who's out and about this morning at Funda Noodle. Good morning, my friend. Funda Noodle. Hey, everybody. Wilson's World. Uh, we're over here in South End, uh, and, and this is something that you may have heard of Carolina Pad before. We've had them on the show a couple times. This is something like completely new, really cool, and uh, we've got our two occupational therapists right here, and they're working on some <laughs> pretty cool stuff. They kind of teamed up with the team here. Michelle's here. we got the kids here, all right? And this is kind of what we're going for. Nine o'clock coming up. Uh, they, we're going to throw the doors open, and we're going to have an open house over here, and you can come by moms and dads and grandmas and grandparents and check out all this cool stuff. And all right, so we're down here on the floor with the kids here, uh, Michelle. Uh, wh what is this? What are we looking at? Are these flash cards? What are these? These are our muscle mover gross motor cards. So the kids get to get their wiggles out. They can choose a card. Right. And they do the action on the card, and then they can flip it over and practice their uppercase letters. In this case, these are our uppercase cards. We also have lowercase cards. So they first get the wrinkles out. Hunter, do you want to show everybody? Okay, which one, which one do you got there, Hunter? Let's see what it says. Let's see here. Pounce like a tiger. Oh boy. Okay, pounce like a tiger. Can you pounce like a tiger? Let's see here. How does a tiger pounce? How does a tiger pounce? Let's he see runs. here. He runs. Okay, Go ahead, show pounce. Me. Pounce like a tiger. You ready? You ready? ready? I'm going to pounce like a tiger. Arr, I'm pouncing. Oh. I know. Yeah, I think I just scared the kid. That's good. Okay. So, uh, you then, probably won't have anybody quite like no, me while you're doing the occupational therapy classes, though, will you? Not usually. Probably not, no. <laughs> but that was a pretty good pounce there. So it, it, so we do that. We pounce like a tiger. Now what do we do? Now he's going to practice T for okay. tiger. So he's going to zip down. Nice. Hop to the top and zip across the top. That's pretty cool. Very good. That's pretty cool. Good, and, Hunter. And why, are, why is something like this, why is this so important, learning the letters like this? Well, what we have found is the action words we use for zipping down, hopping to the top, it really sticks with the kids. Right. And it makes letter formation easier, and it makes it easier to learn, and therefore carry over and easier, it sticks. So. I, that's very cool. Okay, can we do, I think we have time to do one more. Do you want to do one more? Who wants to do one? You want to do one, Carson? Uh oh, Carson's got. Go ahead. Which one do you have over there? Carson's got moo like a cow. All right, Carson. Can you moo like a cow? Moo. I got the That's funny. That's good. I like that. All right. So she's mooing like a cow. So flip that over. Let's see here. Flip that over, and you got the cow. Now, now we start with the green up top, right, Michelle? That's right. Green means go. So, so we always start at the top, and we're going to buzz around. Uh and I like this with the special markers because you can, I mean, these are erasable, right? You, you can, can do reuse them over these. and over. It's great for schools. Teachers can use them in circle time. I like that. Now, Kevin's over here with me. All right, Kev, we have swim like a fish. And we were just making a fish earlier, weren't we? Will you swim like a fish with me? How, does, uh, how do you swim like a fish? You're swimming like a fish. Swim like a fish. Mm -hmm. So we got that. And this is a pretty good one <laughs> with the X right here. So we're swimming like, a, like, like an X-ray fish. Oh, my goodness. An x-ray fish. Now we start right here, start at the green, start up here, and bring it across right here. Here we go. Do you want to do it with me? There you go. Go ahead. Let's see if you can do, make the x right there. This is going to be good stuff. Oh, look at this. Start at the green, and we're learning our letters. This is really cool stuff. 
And again, they've been working with, with the occupational therapist right here to really make these things, you know, interactive, learning those motor skills uh, and, and uh, just really cool stuff here. So listen, we're going to have this linked up on our web channel at foxcharlotte.com. We're over here in South End and uh, uh, they're open at 9 over here if you know where Carolina Pat is. Come on over here and check it out and uh, we're going to keep going right here. Here's one that I think when we come back, I'm going to have to figure out right here. Um, dart like a newt. Do you know how, have you ever seen a newt dart? We're going to figure that out together, all right? Go, hey, that's job. Wilson's World. Uh, we're getting all crazy with it with Fun the Noodle. <laughs> Back to you guys in the studio. Thank you, sir. Gotta love it. Ahead here on Fox News Rising, how temperature can help you help heal from a heart attack. Got Derek James, he's got a picture with Paula, and she said actually to him, squeeze me a little tighter. So I think he's got a little bit of a crush on Paula Abdul now. She said she was such a sweetheart. I have to admit, I actually hugged Derek after I found out that he was that <laughs> close to her. Sorry. That surprises me. Someone else that's a big fan of Paula Abdul, he is always singing her songs. That's our Wilson. <laughs> He's having fun with the kids, probably teaching them the songs as of right now. Good morning to you. I'm forever your girl. <laughs> Isn't that one of her songs? Sure. What's the one she did with the cat? The cool cat. She did the one, uh, yeah, no, no, yeah, anyway. What, what, opposites attract, that's yes. right. No, that's, that's, opposites attract, that's good. It scares me how much Paula Abdul I know, ladies and gentlemen. I had no idea that just popped into my head. That's years of working at really bad radio stations. That's what that is. Hey, Wilson's Row this morning, good morning. I'm, I'm telling you, Derek did such a good job out in Hollywood. Really cool stuff. And uh, thanks for all the comments about the X Factor last night and everything on our Facebook and all that good stuff. Listen. This morning, if you're just tuning in, here's what I want you to take with you right now. Uh, we're just moments away from the open house right here at Funda Doodle, 2108 South Boulevard, right? 2108 South Boulevard, right by the Atherton Lofts. You'll see they got signs up, Suite 100. They want you to come by today and check out all of this cool stuff. And it is totally legit, ladies and gentlemen. These people, they're not just, hey, here's a, a pad with some stuff. No. They've been working on this with official people, and these are the, some of the official people right here. Occupational therapists, all right? That means they're thinkers. They're smart people. They don't mess around. They know their stuff. Amy and Michelle are here, and yeah, you guys have been working with, with Carolina Pad and Fun to Doodle, kind of making this work, and we got kind of a little station set up, kind of their open house. This is what it's going to be like when you come here today. There's things with, like, the color coding and all that. What does that mean over there with the orange? Um, the first group is our orange group for the three-year-old plus, um, and in that group, we focus on really getting their hands ready for for all their pre-writing skills. Um, so we focus on the use of the thumb and the first two fingers um, to strengthen those and promote the use of those so that they're ready to bring a pencil to the paper for writing. Um, we have an all-in-one kit that focuses on beating, lacing, ripping, and tracing. And in that kit, there's um, focuses on skill progression. So we start with our basic skills um, of using a pipe cleaner for beading and then we make it harder by using yarn oh. um, and that's carried out through all of our kits so it starts easier right. um, and then moves up into the different categories. And it's because it is easy for the parents because it is color coded. You got your orange, you're moving along. We got the blue over there and, and everything. We, we got that going on. And this is something we haven't really talked about. Tell me, uh, uh, Michelle, the, the pads on the floor right here. What is that all about? The floor pads, we have an activity floor pad, and the floor pads can be used on the floor as well as on a vertical surface to strengthen your proximal muscles, your shoulder girdle, uh -huh. because if you are strong at the shoulder, you're going to be good down at your fingers and have good uh -huh. distal control. So it's meant to be on the floor so you can do good weight bearing and right. strengthening of your core. And then the three-year-old floor pad, that's where we introduce our action words, our zips, our zooms, our buzzes. And so shown there is a, a vertical line for the zip down. Right. And then we progress through that pad. We also have visual perceptual skills in there, figure ground activities, right. visual scanning, um, which preps the eye for reading left to right, that right. kind of thing. And how important is it for parents with the different levels here? We got the orange, the blue, and the green and everything. That kind of really makes it simple as the kids are kind of advancing. Right, one thing we did in each color activity, each color coded activity, it's a skills progression which within that group, mm -hmm. and then there's skills progression across the age ranges. Ah, oh, okay. Now, Amy here, what's going on right here? I like the little magnetic pad right there. Right here, they're um, practicing uppercase letter formation. Um, they're using the magnet sticks, which are nice because they stick to the surface, so it allows the child to be successful while they're practicing building the letter. They can then use the dry erase marker to practice writing on the board. Um, and then carries over into the 
workbook where they can practice writing on the paper. Oh, that's interesting. And, and you were telling us an interesting story about the, the, the paper right here. That's kind of cool because, you I mean, this is paper that you used before you know, any of this really came about. Right. I had to get out my markers every day and make my own paper. What I found was that the green means go, start at the top, you bump the red at the bottom, stop at the red, and then... Um, the skills progression, we don't start with the letter A because diagonals are really difficult and right. often you, you're five or six before you get those diagonal lines. Yeah. And when we start children at the age of three writing, we want to start with them with something they're successful with. Uh, so we actually start with letters like the letter L, the letter I, so that they can be successful and want to continue to work on writing. No, I love this. Very cool stuff. Listen, the uh, open house, uh, yeah, come on by, all right? They're open right now. Uh, get by going on till uh, later on this evening. It's all going to be up on our web channel at foxcharlotte.com. South Boulevard, right by Atherton Lofts. If you know where that is, right in South End, real easy to find. They got signs up. Get over here. Check it out. Really cool stuff. It's the kind of the, the open house here, the debut of fun to doodle ladies and gentlemen they're telling me to wrap it up with another paula abdul reference straight up now baby it's fun to doodle forever or are you just a hit and run i asked that's all i got right there i'm telling I, I it scares me guys how much paula abdul is in my head it's only going to get worse with x factor straight up now baby <laughs> straight me, up now baby no tell me do you want me to love you forever isn't it oh oh oh, oh. Okay. We need to help him. All right, folks, we're giving you a chance to win a TV. Early tomorrow morning at 5 a.m., Fashion Friday invades Charlotte Fashion Week. Plus, Dr. Dar has some advice for those of you who are single and in over your 30s. You like that? Kinda, I like that. How about that?